Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Castlevania 4. Uh, sorry for the um, abrupt ending last time. I had something I had to attend to, so... Anyway, now we're going to do level 5, which is kind of the weird oddball of all the levels. I think everyone agrees on that now. If my stats look a little different, it's because I forgot to save my state last time, so I kind of had to do level 4 all over again. But yeah, this, this stage is kind of weird. Probably my least favorite stage in the whole game. I mean, it's just strange. It has no boss. The architecture and the way everything is located, it has no real rhyme or reason. It's just kind of this strange scenery. It doesn't make much sense. And all the other levels had something you can kind of remember them for. Something big, like uh, level 1, you kind of... You remember, like, the horse heads or something like that. Level 2, you... Um... Level 2, you could remember, like, the bridges or... Ow. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so, or, or the water current. Level 3, you could remember the cave or the fishmen. Level 4, you kind of remembered the rotation or whatever. But here, there's really nothing special to really, you know, kind of and care about, or really remember as such. There's no real special feature to it. It's kind of just a little bit, you know, just a prelude, um, precursor to the castle, and I mean, it just, it's just kind of strange level. But it's not very difficult. See, like, well, what is this stuff? And, like, how did we change scenery so fast. It's kind of a strange little level, but whatever. Go through it. Now, oh, stupid bad. So yeah, anyway. I noticed that in this Let's Play I've been talking an awful lot about uh, my brother. Well, it's because my brother and I are really close, quite good friends, which is something not a lot of people have, which kind of is a shame. And I know quite a few people who do who don't have good relationships with their parent with their um, siblings. Well, anyway, right here's a little homage to the Castlevanias one and three. So, anyway, let's head into the Castle Dracula stage six. All right, this is a pretty cool map. Not many people like it, but I kind of do. It's not this kind of board game effect. But anyway, I know a lot of people who aren't close to their siblings at all, and I really feel bad for them. Like, I have a very good friend who, whenever I would go over, his brother would be there, and they would just always be arguing and getting mad at each other. And just, first of all, it was kind of awkward, because, I mean, they were all getting mad, and I was just kind of like a guest, and I was like, ah, oh, what am I supposed to do? And, but also at the same time, it was kind of strange, because I'm not used to that at all, and... It was just like, I felt like they never got along. And like, that was really odd for me, and I didn't... Okay, I didn't... It really made me uncomfortable. And I feel bad for both of them, that they don't have a... Crap, I hate this guy. Bad spot. That they don't have a good relationship. But I, do, I know some people who do have good relationships with their siblings, however, so there's some, still some people I can relate to in that sense. So as you can see, we have these Axe Knights from before. They only take four hits that time on a nice moonwalk. So anyway, this is kind of one of the more pain in the ass stages of Dracula's Castle. And this is the kind of the memorable bit of this level. The chandeliers. Um, this is this kind of weird momentum thing going, so you want to be patient. I don't really know how to explain it. There are some people who can explain it pretty well, though, so. Yep, it's been five levels, so I can use save states if I wish. Oh, that was close. I shouldn't have made that. Then again, I say that, and it's like I should be thankful that I did make it, not critical of the fact that I made it, you know, or else they might as well just not let me go there, but it's kind of a 
pointless uh, thing I'm talking about here. So, yeah, this is probably the most... Did I say that already? That this is, like, the most memorable part of this level? Okay, I did something weird there. Okay. Let's <laughs> press some strange buttons. But anyway, this is the... This level's really a pain in the ass because it's really long. And also the programmers weren't as merciful with their uh, health. I'm giving you health here. You want to be careful for the candles that fall off the sides of those uh, chandeliers, because they will hurt you. Okay, now this part's a real pain. Okay, I hate these ghosts. Because when you hit them, like most other enemies, they kind of um, stop for a second or like back away. But these guys don't. They keep moving. So I really don't like them. But I got rid of them, at least. And we get attacked by, like, Dracula's butlers. It's pretty crazy. This is a pretty creative level. Nice green architecture here. It's kind of got a... cathedral-esque feeling about it. Oh my. That's why I hate these guys. You kind of have to back away when you're fighting them. Because of the fact that they don't back away. Oh, here they come. Dracula's crazy butlers. Don't bother killing that guy or else he's just going to come back once you get up the stairs. But I mean, these guys, four hits really takes them down. It makes them a lot easier. And also, your whip is a bit faster here and your duck... You're ducking, you can duck kind of in between moves, so it's not as hard to uh, deal with them. Oh, well, those guys going a little crazy down there. Okay. Okay, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> That's weird, uh, I guess turning off the background? I don't know. I'm just trying to press Shift F1. Oh crap, forgot. Take more hits now. Yeah, so it kind of takes that Castlevania 1 feeling where certain enemies uh, will actually take more hits depending on the area of the game you find them in. That jump can be tricky with that skeleton. And this guy, once you get past him, he starts chasing you. You just gotta be fast. Jump over that skeleton, jump over the stairs. Okay, we made it. No, no wall meat. You see, they're not... You know, the generosity of the earlier levels seems to have gone away. I'm going to save state here. Okay, get over here. And now we got some familiar faces. The blood skeletons. These guys are annoying. And now we got the whip skeletons too. And then like in Castlevania 3. Also annoying. And they take two hits, which is kind of strange. You don't expect skeletons to take two hits, but they do, so you better watch out. Okay, this part is not too bad. We actually have some healing coming up right here, so we're going to be a little better off now. With this, what you want to do is duck, swing your whip. Because that way the hands, the hands are going to try and grab you, so the skeletons will stab you. A nice run there. But as soon as you're in the grip of the hands, just duck and whip, and I'll take them both out. So it makes things a little more simple. Oh, I got full hearts. Nice. Alright, these guys. This is kind of satisfying. It'll break apart all these coffins like this. And, but I mean, the architecture in this place is just so weird. This next part can be a bit annoying. You know, watch out for these tables. I mean, why does Dracula have tables just sitting around randomly in his castle? Like, what does he use them for? Well, I guess they are monsters, but... Yeah, this is why I hate this part. It's the couples. They're very, very annoying. They pop out right underneath you, and... They're pretty aggravating to uh, try and hit. Especially with the whip. With the axe, they're not too bad, but... The whip they can be problematic. Comes another set. 
But at least with the whip, they kind of stop in their tracks once you hit them. Ah, oh, damn it. Here's a one-up. Some people miss that. Not too crucial. Alright, we're almost at the end of this level, so... Let's get some meat here. Alright, this boss is really forgettable and very easy, but I like these demon statues. That's a nice touch. Okay, so we got the ultimate couple. I guess. That's their only attack, is either coming at you or throwing you arrows, but... I mean, you can pretty much take some hits, you'll be fine. See, they're down. They take their... Their defense sucks, basically. Alright, that's another level done. First level of Drax Castle. Dracula's Castle. Alright, nice pose there for Simon. Now we gotta wait for all these hearts to go back, uh, go down. So anyway, I think I'm gonna end this video here. So, uh, thank you all for watching.